Um, so we're now moving on to um, altitudes from medians and uh, the intersection of the altitudes, which is the orthocenter of the triangle. So the, this theorem says, in a given triangle, the three products of the segments into which the orthocenter divides the altitudes are equal. Okay, so let me draw my triangle. And I will constrain the lengths of the three sides so that our distances come out uh, with some quantities in there. This A, make that one B, and make that one C. Now, to draw an altitude, there's a couple of different ways I can do it. Um, one way is I draw a segment joining the vertex to the opposite side. And then I constrain that segment to a perpendicular uh, to the opposite side. However, there is a shortcut. Um, if I select the point and the opposite side and then click on the perpendicular constraint, it will um, create the segment and the perpendicular, create the altitude in one go. And now to create the orthocenter, it's just the intersection of the two altitudes. And what um, the theorem says is that AF times FD is going to be the same as BF times FE. So let's just have a look at what those things look like. So AF is going to be distance from A to F, and multiply that by the distance from F to D. Um, okay, well, it's not obviously symmetric in A, B, and C, which is what I'd maybe been hoping for, and uh, that symmetry would have would have proved my result. Uh, but let's now just look at the other quantity distance, um, B F times the distance from F to E. Ah, okay, that looks kind of similar, but still, it does not look identical. Now, we could go away and, and uh, use this as an algebra problem for ourselves to show that these two are identical. If we look, the, the denominator is identical, so it'd be just a question of showing that the, of multiplying out the, the numerator. However, um, why do that when we've got a computer at our uh, behest so that we just can have GX web do that for us by subtracting the two quantities. That needs to think a bit, uh, do the algebra for us, but gives us the result of zero, which um, is what we're looking for. 